they said tomorrow that it was all a hoax, you know, that, that everything in Cosmic Disclosure was, uh, was all made up, I'd be cool with it. Like, I haven't taken it on as a belief. However, I resonate with it, I like it, and I watch it every week. And the reason I do that is because it gives me this broader picture that, that makes sense to me logically, that brings in all the different things that, um, you know, mainstream don't bring in, and it makes me not fear it. So I'm removing a lot of, because I notice that the reason why people don't talk about um, things that we're not supposed to talk about is because they've been brainwashed and conditioned and manipulated their entire lives to conform to what mainstream views. So they can't talk anything out. They actually feel guilty that there's something that happens within them when they talk outside of mainstream. And I'm just planting little seeds and making it sort of more common to be able to have these kind of conversations. And I, it's really cool, actually. Because it, when you can talk about it like a normal person, as in, I'm okay, I'm not normal, but when you can talk about it over coffee, it's less scary for people. So they're not living in the fear of the unknown. They're allowed to have these kind of conversations. They're allowed to have, spread their, have their little opinion. And, and as they have their opinion about it, it, it actually expands and broadens their perspective to more. I watched um, something else the other day that reminded me, yeah, we're, like of how the education system has um, made us into little uh, good citizens, which is which is fine. It's just that it doesn't teach you how to think for yourself. Like it's basically teaching a particular way of living, living in harmony with people. However, never question authority. You, you, and that may have been um, good at one stage when authority was actually on your side, you know. But now, with these days, you know, authorities can be corrupt and no one questions them because they've been trained already, already conditioned to not question. So we're getting all these laws that make no sense at all, you know, that are just like they're money-making scams. And we don't question it because we're, we want to be good. We're told that it's bad to question it. And now we're like, oh, fuck, we've, we've made ourselves into slaves. And that's how I see it. You know, we're just going to keep building our own prison and things are going to get a little bit worse. So got to look at, okay, make people think about things a little bit more so that they can get their own brain back. First, it's like an automatic thing because I remember, and I think I've already mentioned this, but I remember the first time I saw pro-marijuana posts on Facebook, I was like straight away in my conformity my programming, my brainwashing was like, oh, you know, bad people, bad, you know, I was so conditioned that that was bad. When I realized, oh, wait, this is an auto response. Where did this auto response come from? It's not, it wasn't from me. It was from wanting to fit into society. You know, it's, it was more, society would be more okay with me condemning marijuana. Now that, you know, we can see that it's doing a lot for people's health, that it's really great for building material, that there's a lot of reasons why it could be banned other than what we originally thought that it was being banned for and that kind of thing. Uh, yeah, I've opened up my mind, but it takes time. And I look at, remember how I've done those that questionnaire? I've done it three times so far. Once before I went crazy, once when I was going crazy, once after I was going crazy. I'd love to do it again because I reckon most of the things on that questionnaire now that I was closed-minded for before, after these um, two years of experiences, I think I'd be open-minded to nearly all of them now because my mind is broadened, expanded, it changed as I've been freeing myself to actually have the normal conversations about it.